Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with environmental engineering in the, in the topic of dissolved oxygen. So the problem is the following observation were made the 4% of dilution of wastewater. Okay, so we can add the 4% of diluter. So 4% of wastewater into the 100% of water. Okay, so then dissolved oxygen that is DO of the aerated water used for dilution is 3 milligram per liter. Okay, so in the uh, aerated water, so aerated water uh, we are using for dilution. So the uh, dissolved oxygen is 3 milligram per liter. So then dissolved oxygen of diluted sample after 5 days of incubation is 0 0.8 milligram per liter. Okay, so after the incubation the uh, BOD will be reduced to 0 0.8 milligram per liter. Okay, so initially it has uh, 3 milligram per liter and uh, it, can, it can be reduced to after 5 days of incubation that is 0 0.8 milligram per liter. So the dissolved oxygen of original sample is uh, 0 0.6 milligram per liter. Okay, so we are using uh, uh, the four percentage of diluted water. So that four percentage of uh, wastewater uh, having 0 0.6 milligram per liter of dissolved oxygen. So then calculate the BOD after five days. So this is first question. Then ultimate BOD of the sample. Okay, so. Uh, Assuming that deoxygenation coefficient of the test temperature is 0 percentage. Okay. So now we can take 4 percentage of wastewater. So the 96 percentage of fresh water. So fresh water in a sense aerated water. Total dissolved oxygen okay so total dissolved oxygen at the initial stage so total dissolved oxygen so there is four percentage of wastewater in the wastewater the dissolved oxygen so the dissolved oxygen for the original sample is 0 0.6 milligram per liter okay so now we can take 0 0.6 into four percentage four divided by 100 okay so again plus so 96 percentage of uh, Fresh water is there, so the dissolved oxygen is 3 milligram per liter into 96 percentage, 96 divided by 100. Okay, so solving this, we got the value of total dissolved oxygen is 2.904 milligram per liter. Okay, so this is a so this is the dissolved oxygen present in the uh, before five days of incubation. Okay, so now we can take dissolved oxygen consumed. So initially we have the value of 2.904 milligram per liter of dissolved oxygen. Okay, finally we got the value of 0 0.8 milligram per liter after 5 days of incubation. So now we can take 0 0.8. So now we got uh, 2.104 milligram per liter. Okay, so this amount of dissolved oxygen is consumed uh, during the incubation of the wastewater. Okay, so now uh, we uh, find out the dissolved oxygen consumed. Okay, so now we can take BOD after 5 days. BOD of 5 days equal to the formula dissolved oxygen consumed into dilution factor. So now dissolved oxygen as a uh, oxygen consumed 2.104 into dilution factor is uh, 100 divided by 4. Okay, so now we got the value of 52.6 milligram per liter. Okay, so after five days the uh, BOD will be 52.6 milligram per liter. So this is the first question answer. So calculate the BOD of five days. Uh, then uh, we have to find out the ultimate uh, BOD of the sample. So now we can take the formula Y five days equal to L into one minus 10 power minus KD into five. Okay, so this is KD T is uh, five days. So we can take here five. Okay, so now we can uh, assume the KD value is 0 0.1. So assume the KD value is 0 0.1. Okay, so now we can substitute all the values over here. So the 5 days BOD is uh, 
2.6 milligram per liter equal to so the L the ultimate BOD we have to find out 1 minus 10 power 0 0.1 into 5 okay so now uh, solving this we got the value of 52.6 equal to 0.684 L so now L equal to 76.9 milligram per liter okay so this is the final answer that is uh, ultimate BOD of the sample so here this is a BOD after 5 days okay so this is a method we can solve the problem again we will see next video thank you